Step right up, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages. It's the tennis answer to speed dating meets musical chairs. Yes, the coaching carousel has started to pick up momentum. In the first month of 2019, here's where we stand, or spin. Angie Kerber may be the defending Wimbledon champion, but she has a new coach, trading in Vim Fissette for countryman Rainer Schuttler. Fissette, he ended up with Vika Azarenka. Azarenka once worked with Fissette and Michael Joyce. So did Joe Conta. But Conta left first Fissette and then Joyce and is now with Dmitry Zavilov. Zavilov, you might recall, once worked with Stan Wawrinka. But Wawrinka is back with Magnus Norman. Say this about the sport, it practices recycling. Speaking of coaches who work with both men and women, Jim Madrigal left Tennis Sandgren for Madison Keys. He became Keys' fifth coach in four years. Thomas Johansson, your 2002 Australian Open singles winner, by the way, was with Maria Sakari of Greece, but he's now with Philip Krajinovic. Rob Steckley was with Lucy Safarova, but she's retiring in Melbourne, so Steckley will work with fellow Canadian Denis Shapovalov. Joe Wilfried Sanga has brought aboard Sergei Bruguera. And speaking of former Grand Slam champs in the box, Alexander Zverev will continue with Ivan Lendl, and Andre Agassi is now on team Grigor Dimitrov. Amid all these changes, the top player on the women's side has no coach. Simona Halep parted ways with Darren Cahill and will try to go it alone. If she changes her mind, well, there are plenty of candidates happy to take a seat. This, after all, is the tennis coaching carousel. Round and round it goes, and where it stops, well, actually, it never stops.